Today we're speedrunning four different games in the Grow series, Grow Valley, Grow Tower, Grow Cannon, and Grow 3. But our first one is Grow Valley, and we'll start the speedrun as soon as we click on our first thing, which is going to be design systems, followed by architectural systems. Now basically how this game works is we want to create a perfect utopia, but to do so, we have to click on these things in the correct order. You can see that the next one I'm going for is this blue cog, which is going to be the mechanical systems, because right before that we laid down a road, and now we can put a car on it. So it basically is just follow the correct order and also speed these things up. I am repeatedly clicking at all times because every once in a while we can get a fast forward button. Otherwise, these little guys are going to be really slow and we don't really want that, to be honest. Now we're starting to have a really good valley. I mean, there's water going everywhere. We just got a robot who's here for some reason and we have some chemistry. I don't really know what that plant does, but I'm sure it does some stuff that's really important. And finally, we can really start working on making our buildings, making our our robot do something i'm pretty sure he actually does nothing i don't really know what his purpose is but now as you can see there's only one last thing to add to our valley and that's love or actually it's going to be called life science system but basically the same thing and for some reason having love creates some really good buildings we can have that medical building in the lower left we can also have this main center building which after we get some more guys working towards it it's like a tree or something then our little guys will make a nicer road which i don't even think we need at this point because instead of a car we now have a helicopter but i guess that's nice and finally we can get all the guys working together to make one center heart and we will be able to end off this speed run as soon as we see congratulations i'll scroll up and there we go that's time 133 next we have grow tower which is a bit simpler but it's also one of my favorite grow games first of all we have the button along with this cannon and then we're also going to place down these bricks which aren't just bricks apparently they're also a robot and they're like hey dude you need to start turning around and then a hand comes out of the cannon which smushes the button and makes whatever that contraption is yeah you can probably see why i like this game so much so for our fourth thing we're gonna place down this grass block and really everything is starting to work together like i don't exactly know what's happening but hey we just got that guy out of the tower it's able to fill that thing up which extends it a little bit more and now there's that yin yang symbol down there which is going to get mixed around for a little bit until finally at the end of it it makes a little guy now this little guy is also important because he can just come out the end and he is adorable just let me tell you that so he's going to start flying up to the top until he gets eaten by the cannon now this gives us the opportunity to place the pot and luckily right there is going to be a cloud and also this rain guy so that's going to be able to make a plant for us after this some more stuff is going to start growing like our gears our cannon that which now has fire inside of it and that fire is going to come down over to the cannon so it's going to be able to explode our little guy back out and now we can use him yep i bet you thought i was done doing stuff but we do have to wait a little bit longer for this cloud to go inside of there and then that's going to create water because that's how it works and that's also going to be able to turn that gear which is going to be nice because it makes little among us guys i'm sorry i had to say it our cannon also gets multiplied and our brick guy goes from just a robot to a robot with cannon hands so this man is now one of the most destructive people i've ever met in my life after this we just get some more stuff growing up like now we have this wizard and the wizard is going to be able to turn this regular pot over into a cloud which is going to be nice because then it can grow the plant on top of it which is just going to keep growing up now I haven't explained the point of this game, but basically what we're trying to do is get up as high as possible so we can turn on the sun. And our tower does now have the height. All we need to do is use this hammer to open up the pet. A little guy is going to jump out of there, somehow be able to swim through the sky and finally turn on the sun. Of course, this is then going to make sure that everything is level max and we can end off time as soon as we see congratulations, 220. Now we have Grow Cannon, which is also one of my favorite games of the series. To be honest, they kind of all are. But basically, we have this dude who does not want to wake up for his alarm and he has a thousand points of sleep. So we have to use our cannon to wake him up, but we only have 10 shots to do so. So for our first shot, we're going to go ahead and turn it from day to night. For our second shot, we're going to create this plant thing. And for our third shot, we're going to create this weird creature. Now he's going to come out of the water and be like, hmm, 
I kind of like the look of this plant and go right ahead and eat it, which is going to turn him into a dragon. And he's like, well, I don't really like the place that made me. So I'm also going to destroy that and make it into a water cup. After that, we're going back to the fourth square so we can turn it back to day, which is going to cause the dragon to go to sleep. Then we can go to the third square and we're going to make this train along with this little pink guy. And this pink guy, he's a little bit of a goofball. So he's going to go over to this lever and repeatedly switch it from night to day until finally the lever comes off and it has to stay on day. And you know what? I'm pretty upset at him now. So I'm going to go ahead and bonk him on the top of the head, which is going to make him realize that there's the dragon with his treasure chest and he's going to be able to make his lever turn into this wizard wand and completely murder the dragon for literally no reason. Now after this, there's going to be a bunch of bones that come out of the same area. I know it's very weird, but we want to make that into a human leg. So we'll go to the first square first and that's going to make the leg part. Then we can go to the second square and that's going to make like the back part of the leg. I'm not exactly sure what you would call it, but that makes it actually a human's leg for some reason. And then we can go to the third square, which is going to make it so that the train grows up. And the train is also tired of this pink guy's antics. So it tries to shoot him, but he deflects it. It goes into that hole and makes a doomsday missile. Now, finally, to finish out, we're going to go to the fifth square, drop a ball there, which is going to slide off the foot, go in the hole and come out the other side. So it makes a tiny bear. And that is going to be everything done. Now we can see that all the things we created are going to be max level. So we should be good on waking this dude up. And they're going to go one by one, starting with the water pail, which hits him with the water and also the pail, which is pretty funny. Then we have the human foot, which smushes him. I don't know how this dude is still alive, let alone sleeping. After this, we have the pink guy who electrocutes him because, you know, he wasn't done enough with just the dragon. Fourth, we're going to go ahead and get the train, which runs him over, and there goes his head. I don't think this man is alive anymore, but he just comes back. He doesn't care at all. We have the Doomsday Missile, which does 450 damage and creates a gigantic crater, but he still has one hit of sleep points left. So that is where the little bear is going to come in. He's going to be like, hey, dude, you should probably wake up. There's probably something pretty important going on right now. And finally, our dude wakes up. But here's where he's like, oh, I have something. His head comes off and he starts running around because it turns out that the thing he was missing was his wedding. Finally, he can see his girlfriend now turning into his wife, give her flowers. And that is going to be time as soon as we see congratulations yet again. 255. Now we're finishing out with Grow 3, which is going to be the hardest speedrun of the bunch. Now I know what you're saying, Ben, you're literally just dragging over items. But that's the thing. Now we have to drag instead of just spam clicking. So rather than just being able to go to my next thing, I have to be prepared and have good reaction speeds so I can do this as fast as possible. And then there's also the challenge of trying not to over or undershoot your things, which is going to cause a reset. Obviously not the hardest thing in the world still. I mean, I can't really complain about these speedruns compared to some of the speedruns I do, but out of all the grow games, this is probably one of the hardest. And it's also a lot simpler than the other games we've done before it. I mean, that part's a little bit obvious, but I mean, it's still a pretty cool game and it's one of the classic grow games. So you already know we got to play it. Now we see those white things, which I'm pretty sure those are supposed to be clouds. The next thing we're going to put is a very tiny tornado, which that is just an adorable tornado. Look at it. It's just like hanging out on the right side of the screen. Next, we're going to put this cog and here's where we're also going to get the sun finally starting to pop out along with a mountainside. Our egg is starting to hatch at least a little bit. We're getting a river, some really good stuff is happening and then we can put a plate which yeah it's just kind of a play i guess we can eat dinner now and our egg is really starting to hatch we are starting to get some really cool things like our propeller now being rainbow then we can put in this i don't even know what that's supposed to be but it's on the bottom of our island and kind of just hanging out there and now we have purple guy climbing down the ladder all the way from the five nights of freddy series now at this point all we have to do is place down our tv at first it is just going to be static but all we have to do is wait. Our things are finally going to start growing up. We're going to get some different cogs turning. And for some reason, this causes our planet to blast off into space. Our plate turns into a receiver. So now we have television. And finally, we can end off our speed run here with congratulations, 148. Yeah, these games are awesome. Subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye.